For years, all of us kept referring to James May as a slow coach, Captain Slow, the boring guy, the boffin, the guy that we all kind of knew was into cars, but just not in the same way as Hammond or Clarkson. But actually, you might be surprised because one and only Captain Slow does actually have a few cars that were made after 1872. This includes, of course, the super fast. Hey guys, I'm Mo, and today I want to talk to you about James May's car collection. I, and maybe you, absolutely miss the original Top Gear. The bands between Clarkson, May, and Hammond was just incredible. So, I was quite surprised when I heard about James May owning a Ferrari. And yup, it's true, he does actually own one. It's a Ferrari 458 Speciale, Speciale, which he actually had specially ordered. Funny story, basically he called up his local Ferrari dealer. They were like, nope, no chance of that getting one because the order books are, are closed. So then he rang the factory and basically managed to convince them to add one more to the books. Now, this car is pretty crazy. Over 600 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 in three seconds. It's got a gorgeous sound. Let's have a little listen. Next up in Captain Slow's collection is the Alpine A110, having driven one of these cars uh, for the Grand Tour and then thinking, yeah, I'm just gonna go buy one. What's even crazier though is the fact that it's powered by this dinky little 1.8 engine, but it has over 250 brake horsepower. So that's like 0 to 60 in like four seconds. It's pretty incredible. Now, I wouldn't say May is known for his love for Greta Thunberg and spending his spare time hugging trees, but he does actually own a Tesla, more specifically a Tesla Model S, which he absolutely loves. And if you thought, well, pff, let him off, he's only got one electric car. No, no, he's actually got another one. He's actually got Model 3 and a Toyota Mirai, which is powered by hydrogen and can do up to 400 miles on one tank. Now, hydrogen cars are a weird subject because, well, yes, they can do more miles on a single tank compared to an electric car, but they do cost more money. And try and guess how many hydrogen stations there are in the UK. 14. Yep, 14. Which is probably why Captain So is probably stuck somewhere right now on the M25 trying to look for a station. He's probably just sitting there, I don't know, twiddling his thumbs, not sure. So look out for him. Thanks for watching guys and see you soon.